We've taken six of the world's top athletes to find out what it takes to make a true Olympian as we push their bodies to the max. In the track and field program, the 3,000 meter steeplechase really is one of those brutal events. Classically, when you look at elite athletes, they make it look easy, but the ability to sustain these very high speeds whilst negotiating these very large barriers is an incredibly difficult thing to do and requires a huge amount of speed and aerobic endurance to be successful. Sufian El Bakali is Morocco's leading steeplechaser. At just 20 years old, he not only made the final at the Olympic Games Rio 2016 at his first attempt, he also placed a remarkable fourth. We've brought Sufian to the Manchester Institute of Health and Performance, a cutting-edge facility dedicated to exploring and developing some of sport's most elite talents. The typical body shape of a 3,000 meter steeplechaser is very similar to that of an endurance runner. Invariably, they are light, and they're very low in percent body fat. Within steeplechase, we can often see short athletes. Equally, we can see very tall athletes because it is also about the ability to negotiate barriers as well as run fast for 3,000 meters. To succeed at the highest level, Sufian needs both supreme endurance as well as excellent agility. The stats show he is one of the tallest men in his sport, but what are those vital anatomical advantages he needs to push him to the top of the podium? On the surface, at least, Sufian looks lean and streamlined, but the DEXA scan will literally go under the skin of his body composition and show just how much more there is to this super slim athlete. From the DEXA score, what we saw is a body fat percentage of 10.7%. That is exceptionally low, and in fact, it's one of the lowest that, that I have ever seen. Elite track cyclists typically have a body fat percentage of just 12.3, while top triathletes are some of the leanest performers in sport at 8.6. Sufian's 10.7% shows just how little fat or non-functional mass he's carrying in competition. If you were looking to design the ultimate body type for an elite 3,000 meter steeplechaser, Sufian would be exactly what you're looking for. Of course, Sufian is from Morocco and he does a lot of his training at altitude in the Atlas Mountains. Uh, and so therefore taking him into the environmental chamber and replicating that environment is really important thing to do to see how he copes when he's running. At high altitude, the body produces more hemoglobin, which increases oxygen carrying capacity to the muscles, crucial to improve aerobic activity and achieve peak performance. And up to the faster pace now. Inside the enviro chamber, we have simulated the same conditions Sufian would experience in the high altitude training camp that Morocco uses for its elite endurance athletes. Well done, get into that stride, well done. For each steady state effort, Sufian has to perform a high tempo interval, replicating the fast pace of the closing stages of a race. Excellent, excellent. For over 30 years, the men's steeplechase has been dominated by one nation, Kenya, with the last nine gold medals going to athletes from this country. Many experts believe that living and training in the Rift Valley at an altitude of 2,000 meters plus has given Kenya's elite performers a key anatomical edge. Keep pushing, come on, really pushing hard now. Come on, drive it as much as you can. Keep going, find a few seconds, keep it going. Brilliant work, there we go. We'll bring you down, an excellent work. That was great, so bad. The results from the environmental chamber are very interesting because they confirm what we already know about Sufian. Despite the high temperatures, despite the altitude, 
Sufian is able to maintain his pace across the multiple intervals, really demonstrating one of the key factors in his success, and that is running economy. We use the dynamometer test for two key reasons. One is to look at performance. The second reason is for injury surveillance and rehabilitation. We're looking at the relationship between the left leg and the right leg, because both of those actually predict injury and also monitor the recovery from injury. For any runner, the leg muscles are what deliver performance, but are also the most vulnerable areas to injury. The dyno will measure the relative strength of Sufian's hamstrings and quadriceps and show how able he is to withstand the stresses of steeplechase at the elite level. One, go. Good, good, good. Push, push, push. And pull, 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 pull. Fantastic, coming in. Push, 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 push. Good. Pull, 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 all the way back in. And relax. Steeplechase has one of the highest injury rates of any track and field event, as barriers are hurdled repeatedly at speed and during moments of extreme fatigue. Strong quadriceps are vital to provide stability to the knee and absorb the force of landing. One, go, push, kick, kick, pull, well done. Push, push, pull, good pull. push. Go on. Push, push. Hard, hard, come on. Go on. Keep going, well Pull as well, pull. Good, and relax. Brilliant. Fantastic, well done there. Sufian's results tell us that he has symmetry. The force that he can produce in terms of the quadriceps on left and right side is very, very similar. Now that's what we expect to see from an elite steeplechase runner, but importantly for Sufian is that what it shows is a low potential for injury. تلاف متر موانع عندها واحد الطعم خاص اللي هو اول حاجه متعه كيكون فيه المتعه وان القريص نحل و انا هاد المسافه هادي ديجا كنت طحت فيها انايا كنت في العمر ديالي مازال صغير ومن بعد كيقول لك في ديك الطيحه دخلت صنع الراس ومن تما وانا كنحب هاد المسافه هادي وشاغلت كثير انني باش نقدر نوصل للمستوى العالي فيها أه عند دخول ارضيه الملعب كان هناك ارتباك كبير بالنسبه للجماهير البرازيليه الغفيره أه كان هناك ضجه ضجه عارمه من الاصوات العاليه و كان هناك كما كنقولوا ستريس كان هناك تخوف من العدائل الاخرين و ان عند انطلاق السباق ركزت كثير على على المنافسين ديالي وتمكنت منني نحصل على الربعه تاع على الرتبه الرابعه في الاخير بالنسبه كان هناك صعوبات في السباق كان هناك عده كينيين فرنسيين كانوا مغاربه معايا اثيوبيين ولكن تغلبت على ديك الخلعه واللي كانت جاتني وسط السباق وتمكنت في الاخير من الفوز بالرتبه الرابعه So this test enables us to look at key factors of endurance running performance. Firstly, anaerobic threshold, which is indicative of the point at which blood lactate starts to rise, which will lead eventually to fatigue. The second area is running economy, and that is Sufian's ability to run at a given speed for the lowest energy possible. An elite steeplechase runner has to have a vital blend of physical endurance and technical efficiency to power him over 35 nearly one meter high barriers and across a three and a half meter water pit, all over a 3,000 meter distance. Three, two, one, off you go. In competition, Sufian has to maintain a race pace that most non-elite athletes couldn't sustain for more than a few hundred meters, let alone seven and a half laps of an Olympic track. On you go. Those legs training, excellent work. Keep pushing, Sufian. Not only does an Olympic steeplechaser need to be able to endure, he has to be able to alter his stride pattern at speed to ensure he meets the barriers on the correct foot, to clear them and maintain the most efficient running rhythm. Yeah, keep it going for Sufian. Come on, push. Come on, keep it going. Making the perfect competitor part distance runner, part hurdler, and part long jumper. Okay. Push, 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 push. As hard as you can now, so. Excellent. Well done, Sufian. Fantastic. Excellent effort. You okay? Okay. 
Sufian has an anaerobic threshold that occurs at 18 kilometers an hour. To put that into context, that is the speed at which Sufian will execute a steady state run. We can estimate his VO2 max is gonna be somewhere in the region of the late 70s or early 80s milliliters per kilogram per minute. Running economy results for Sufian were outstanding. In other words, what he is able to do is run at a given speed for a lower energy cost. That means he can save energy, which becomes valuable when it comes to getting over those massive barriers in the final laps of the race. Cryotherapy exposes the body to extremely cold temperatures to help reduce muscle inflammation and soreness and is used by some elite athletes after competition or periods of intense training. Sufian has never used this recovery method before. Will he be up to the challenge? He is from Morocco, a hot country. Uh, he's incredibly lean with a very low percent body fat. So it's really gonna be interesting to see how he actually copes with these really cold temperatures. Go into the pod and then face me, okay? The traditional athlete's ice bath measures a cool 12 degrees C, but it doesn't even come close to what Sufian is about to endure. The full body air cooled cryotherapy pod is set to a bone chilling minus 120 degrees C, colder than the record low ever recorded in Antarctica. Are you okay? Sure? Keep going. Sufian has to stay in the pod for two and a half minutes to gain the optimal effect. It may be the toughest task he's faced all day. Seven. You all right? Go. Woo. How was that? Well done. Excellent. Sufian is a really lean athlete, only 10.7% body fat. He's got virtually no insulation whatsoever. So it really isn't unsurprising to see what a challenge he found that. Sufian is one of steeplechasing's true outliers, literally head and shoulders above many of his fellow competitors. Good, 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 push, push, push. His remarkable endurance and aerobic efficiency have put him among the truly elite in one of the Olympics' most testing disciplines. Go well down, drive on. At just 21, he is still years away from his prime. Could Tokyo 2020 be his time? <laughs> الشغال الانسان تيشتغل باش كيوصل لهذا لهذا المستوى هذا كامل وفرحت بزاف حيت هاد الناس دعاوني انني نمثل معاهم هاد هاد الحلقه هادي اللي بكل صراحه تترسخ في الذهن هادي تتعيشك في شي حوايج كبار ما كنتيش كتمناهم كاع في حياتك He has wonderful balance and symmetry between left and right leg. Fantastic anaerobic threshold at 18 kilometers an hour. But his running economy was truly exceptional. And I think that really demonstrates why he is one of the best of the best.